thank you for watching this video this video is brought to you by newqbo.com that's our website uh, uh, it's our QBO blog we have great articles and uh, free video tutorials and if you like this video you may want to subscribe to our YouTube channels we have all kinds of free video tutorials we have uh, two YouTube channels uh, youtube.com cross slash VP controller youtube.com cross slash quickbooks QBO the one you're watching right now okay uh, so in this video uh, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, how to get logo or addresses so up on uh, uh, estimate template in QuickBooks Online. I'm hearing some of the customers they're not seeing logo or missing address. So I'm going to talk about that one in this video. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online right now. So, uh, so I'm going to go to dashboard. Okay. Uh, the estimate, I'm going to go to estimate template from uh, the gear icon. Here's a gear icon. Click that one and under your company you'll see custom form styles and so this is where you uh, should see your uh, uh, your templates uh, normally you may, you may see just one estimate one template for estimate and I have created all five they have five template different templates and it's more to test to see uh, it works or not so uh, it is working uh, so just in case you have one and it's not working you try it basically you just need to create uh, another uh, template just click new and uh, then select estimate so it will take you to estimate template okay you can name anywhere you want it so uh, for example the default is airy you know you can say airy in here so at least that way you know uh, it's uh, it's uh, airy template you know or if, if you want to select modern uh, you can say modern, fresh, so you can see how they look right now. As you can see at this moment, uh, you don't see uh, any logo in here, although you see address in here. Okay, so the next one is the uh, make logo edits. Somehow, you know, they have an option to show or not or hide logo in here. So in this case, it's, it's, it's not showing, it's... Uh, this hide logo right now okay so as you can see here the moment you you know click that one uh, hide logo show logo okay on the right side you see uh, uh, my logo in here all right so you can make this small you can make this medium or make it large that's about it you can't go higher than that okay and the placement wise you know on the left side or a middle size or, or on the right side so you have a choice okay then you can select color whatever color you want okay uh, and the next one is the uh, the address somehow address is missing in here so just click that on the little pencil on the right side and underneath you see address in here so address so you make sure you have address in here okay and uh, once it's done then save it uh, done here and then it should work okay okay here we go so I added uh, uh, another one in here so now I'm gonna go to uh, invoice so I've already created a few invoices in here uh, using different templates so you just have to select which one you want customize uh, oh I'm on invoice now sorry to the estimate okay so you just have to select customize and then you select which template you want to use you know okay so let's say I want to use the modern one you know like that okay so I have created a few in here and so is estimate so all you have to do is it's working or not you just have to click this print or preview so right now this one is in the middle okay addresses are still there and the template is airy okay and uh, now if you want to send it and see how your customer uh, on the other end how the customer oh, this will look on the customer side so I'm just gonna save this save and send and 
Okay, I'm gonna go to uh, let's say this is uh, customer's email. This is how it will look on their side. Yeah, right here, this right away. Okay, it will look something like this. So it will say, uh, you know, like this. So the estimate, uh, the contents, the you know, the email, it's, it's, it's not that good. You know, it's like very simple one. Right now, there's uh, no way to edit the estimate uh, template right now. It's very, very little room to customize this. So this is the way it looks. And underneath, you'll see PDF attachment in here. So it looks like this when they open it. Anyway, uh, so that's the focus of this video. It's, I tried it on, uh, on all uh, five templates, so it's, it works fine. So anyway, uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. And uh, if you like this video, you can visit our website. Uh, let's see, so you our website too. So here's our website. It looks like this. And here's the home. And if you want to check out the, all the video tutorials, you can just click that one, video tutorials. And you will see we have two channels here. Both should have uh, all kinds of uh, free video tutorials related to QuickBooks Online. Uh, on on BB Control, I have QuickBooks uh, Desktop as well. So anyway, uh, hopefully you like this video. Uh, give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Thank you again. Bye.